go to John. Go to John, two, and jump straight to 19. They went out from us. Who's he speaking about? Those that were a part of the body and the doctrine, right? They went out from us. They departed, but they were not of us. So there's one thing going out from, but they departed, they didn't continue. But if they had been of us, they would have no doubt continued with us. Continued in what? What's he speaking about? They would have continued in what? The doctrine. Right? They would have continued in the doctrine. You wouldn't have stopped. Okay. Because the doctrine don't change. It's your wicked mind that changed. Right? That's the only thing that changed. Was your wicked mind. It wasn't Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai the same today, the same tomorrow. Right? Then you, you teamed up with other men that were disgruntled and what, that had seducing spirits on them. You, you got taken, right? It's that saying, excuse me, misery loves company, okay? But they went out and they made me, made me manifest they were not all of us. Why? But how was it manifest? Because they weren't Excuse me. They weren't sticking to what they were taught. Okay. They detracted from what they were taught. Okay. And it says, but they were not all of us. But you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. So our unction is an anointing. And it says, and you know all things. So we know all things according to what we were taught. Right? According to what you were taught. Unction goes into an anointing. With the Holy Spirit. Right? To know all things. So a man may be complaining, he may feel a particular way and say, make a scoff video and say, no one could have 100% no, one have 100% truth. Did not Yahweh Shai have 100% truth? Did not he give his men, disciples, 100% truth? So what makes the day any different? Are you telling me this camp has 40, another camp has 20, another camp has another 20% and another has 10%? No. No. Right? a doctrine, right? Whether you want to believe that or not, and it's a hundred percent of what we were taught, of what we know. And if you don't feel that way, you need to do some service, praying and fasting. Quick, right? Because you have to believe in something. <laughs> you have to believe in something Right? Let's continue on, jump. Hope this is edifying. John, okay. One and 21. I've not written unto you because you know not the truth, but because you know, right? It and no lie is of the truth. So it's, but because you know it, it's not that you don't, you know it, right? 
and not no lies of the truth. So, if a lie was of the truth, then it wouldn't be the truth. A lie is 100%. A lie, 99.9. .9. It's lucky the truth ain't 90.99.9. 90 .9. It's full, it's 100%. Okay, and it says, bear with me just a minute, who is a liar but he that the night of Yabashai, Mashiach, right? He is the Antichrist, Anti-Mashiach, but the night of the Father and the Son. And certain men are teaching you're not supposed to worship Yabashai. What is that? So a man telling you that, that's an Anti-Mashiach. That's a wicked spirit. That's a seducing spirit. That's trying to get you to what? To veer off from what you were taught. Right? And it says, who saw the night of the son? The same have not the father. So if you deny him, you have a shy. You don't have the father. You don't have Yahweh. Right? You don't have no life. But he that acknowledged the Son have the Father also, and you've got to believe he came in the flesh. As well as the Spirit, he came in the flesh. Right? you got men talking about, the Spirit is here. But hold on a minute, I love a lesson. You said you don't believe in the Spirit. So again, that's a seducing Spirit. Right? And it says, let that therefore abide in you, right? So let this word, it's supposed to abide in you, right? Dwell, which you have heard from the beginning. If that which you have heard from the beginning shall remain, see it doesn't remain in all our people, shall remain in you. So once we hear this truth, it has to remain, right? You shall also continue in the Son and the Father. That's you continuing. That's you being granted salvation. And yes, salvation also does come, yes, in faith, mercy, and judgment. But it also comes with what? Teaching the right thing. Right? Because if you don't know what you're teaching, you have no business being out there and teaching. Why? Because that's going to make you what? A false prophet. And ultimately, you're going to die at a horrible death. Right? And it says, and this is the promise that he had promised us eternal life. Eternal life is what? Life forever. Right? These things have I written unto you. Right? Concerning them that seduce you. So it's heavy. It's letting you know. The thing, these things were written concerning those that were going to have what? seducing spirits and try to seduce you, try to allure you, you see, you see how important these scriptures are, so you don't get caught out, right, see this is what I'm here to do, to get brothers out of that trap, right, don't be in that spirit of, oh, these men now, they can't, they, I'm, I was under them, but they no longer can teach me anything. Certain things we can still learn. I still watch certain brothers, and I still learn. Re re regardless of any plight you may have. Right? That's called being humble. Right? But you've got men that are break off, and they truck the whole doctrine out the window. Where's the honour in that? No honour. Right? So now we're going to go to Proverbs 7. Okay, Proverbs 7 and we're going to 21 and when the scripture is read a lot of people think it's, it's based on committing adultery but it's also spiritual adultery this is going into, it's going into true and false wisdom, right? So we're going to start off with Proverbs 7 and let's go to 19 for the good man is not home, at home. He has gone a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and he will come home at the day appointed. And that's speaking of what a woman that commits adultery sleeps around. But it's also speaking of what these philosophies, 
with her much fair speech. And we went into in um, Romans 16. How about that? See how it links up? Romans 16. Okay. See, that's a new precept link up. See, we learn something new every day. Romans 16, it talked about, and by fair speeches, they deceive the hearts of the simple. So let's read that again. This is front of seven. And let's go straight to 21. With her much fair speech, right? Enticing words. Okay, she calls him to yield, right? Which is what a temptation, right? With her flat, with the flattering of her lips, she forced him. So a lot of these philosophies, they may sound good. It may sound pleasing. Let me check the time, because I came out of here with like quarter battery. It may sound pleasing to the ears, but it doesn't mean that's the truth, right? It doesn't mean that's the truth. And in order, there's a saying, in, in order to tell, in order to know the truth, you got, I forgot how it goes, you tell a lie. Okay, Esau does know particular truths, but he mixed what? Lies in there. Okay, deception. Okay. Anyways, verse 22. He goeth after her straightway as an ox. As an ox going to the slaughter. Or as a fool correction of stocks right to the start of, right and it says to the dark strike through his liver right as a bird hasteth to the snare right and knoweth not that it is for his life hearken unto me therefore all ye children and attend unto my words of my mouth that's why you got to attend unto what what the scriptures saying that's what we're supposed to be attending unto right let not our heart decline to her ways go not astray in her paths right what in the paths of what these different philosophies right and they're like unto what women right and we're going to further expound on that for she have cast down many wounded right so these philosophies wherever it may be christianity buddhism sikhism these philosophies have passed out many many men have fed out what's it Nuwabianism, right christianity many people have fell out because they didn't want to let go of these things and all these things are spirits. These are all spirits. When someone believes in Christianity, that's a particular spirit that's upon them. And most people that leave the Christian churches, and really Christianity is nothing but modern day witchcraft, but most people that leave Christianity, what do most of them go into? Witchcraft, right? I've noticed, right? And it says, for she have cast out many wounded, yeah, many strong men have been slain by her. Okay. But her house is the way going down to the chambers of death. Right? So this is her house. So all these different philosophies, it be likened unto what? Committed spiritual adultery. Right? And what's the punishment for adultery? Stoning. Death, which we don't do here because we can't implement the particular laws. Right? This is, a very, this is a very, 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 very serious thing. This is not a joke. So now we're going to go to... Titus. Still go to Timothy.
Baby, just a minute. Go to the first Timothy's 4. And it says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Paul warning the churches again. Okay. Right in the latter times, these last days. Right? Some shall depart. Right? From the faith. So you're going to get those that depart and that what? Break off from the faith. Not just a camp, from the faith, from the teaching. Right? From what they were taught. Giving heat, right? To seducing spirits. What these what? These false ideologies. Okay? These false breakdowns. You're gonna have men making up their own doctrine. Right? That's seducing spirits. And what's some of them examples? Um some people they doubt the validity. Okay? Some people doubt the validity of the 12 tribes chart. Some people say it's, it has to be Negroes. Your mother and your father has to be a Negro on your mother and father's side. False doctrine. Seducing spirit. That flat earth doctrine. False, that's, a, that's a false doctrine. That's seducing spirit. Right? So bear me just a minute. This is what Paul was warning us about. Okay? Within these last days. Okay? These men, they were just going to be making up stuff and throwing it out there. Right? Let's go back to Timothy. This is Timothy's fourth. 